Well, Johnny Cash would sing about it, but this weekend, depending on where you are in the country, you might actually get to see the ring of fire. We're talking about Saturday's solar eclipse at the table tonight with Dr. Gene Creighton, director of UWM's Manfred Olson Planetarium. Thanks for being here. So let's talk about this solar eclipse. Where can you see it and why is it called the ring of fire? You have to be in the right part of the country to see that the moon is farther than average, so it doesn't quite do the job of covering the sun entirely. So it leaves a little bit of a ring of fire uh -huh. around it. We are not in that part of the country, sadly, uh, but we will see a chunk, about 41% of the sun will be gone. You still need glasses. All right, so let's talk about that. You brought me some solar eclipse glasses here. We kind of remember this in 2017, we had to do this. So why do we need these? And uh, where can I get them if okay. I need one? Sure, you need them because otherwise the sunlight damages your eye. So I'm told that eye doctors can tell from your eye okay. if you've been looking at the sun. Yep. We are going to be providing glasses if the weather holds, that's the key. If it's not raining cats yep. and dogs, yep. uh, we will be holding, handing these out for free to the public so they can safely enjoy the event at the UWM Planetarium on Saturday. Which, from, speaking of, oh yeah, from when? From 11 to 1. Okay, good to know. Speaking of the Planetarium, you're turning 100 years old this year and you have a special event coming up in 10 days. Is the public invited to this celebration? It is very much welcome to come and celebrate that the very first Planetarium in the world. Wow, in the world? In the World right here was built oh. in Germany. Yeah, <laughs> okay. we are celebrating with the rest of the global oh, community. Oh, I see. Okay, and we want to acknowledge that people who live in urban places just don't get to see much of a dark sky. Yep. So, a planetarium is an opportunity to connect and enjoy that again. Well, you've been our bright star tonight. Thank, Thank you. you for being at the table. Thank you. And don't forget, this is where you need to be October 21st, 6 to 8 p.m., to participate in the celebration at the planetarium. All right, so a lot going on this weekend. Kristen, no pressure, you know, just move out the clouds and everything. Yeah, so. right. If I could, I would have been so excited about this have. eclipse. And unfortunately, the weather does not look like it's going to cooperate. If the skies were going to be clear, this is sort of what it would look like. Okay. Uh, you would see kind of a bite taken out of the sun is what it would look like. So the moon would cover about 41% of the sun. This is here specifically yes. from Southeast Wisconsin. Timing for that would be right around noon. Then uh, as we move towards the end of the event, around 1.20 in the afternoon, the sky would brighten back up. But again, uh, conditions really doubtful here as we move through Saturday morning. I think we're just going to be locked in under a lot of cloud cover. You can watch the eclipse though on NASA's website. You can see that happening if you want to check that out. All right.